Yeah, tomorrow we're still up around the 70 degree mark, even in the low 70s, but not as much sun as we have out there. And then later this week, cooling temperatures. Take a look at what we had in place, say, the last five days. This is the average temperature around, oh, let's just say Phoenix, okay? Now moving forward, we're going to get back to reality here with temperatures that will eventually be in the 50s starting Friday and lasting right through this weekend. And again, that's not cold. That is just a return to reality, a return to average. We have another shot at getting near records as we head through the day tomorrow. Although I don't think temperatures will be as warm as they were out there today, the record is lower. 69 degrees for Windsor Locks and Bridgeport. I think we easily get there for Windsor Locks and we'll get close for the Connecticut shoreline as well. Taking a look at the current temperature out there, we're in the 60s to around 70 degrees. High temperatures today were in the middle and even upper 70s, but here's the cold front that we're tracking. A pretty potent front. There is a lot of warmth out ahead of it and a lot of cool air behind it and where you have that battle of the air masses. There's severe thunderstorm watches, warnings and even tornado warnings that are posted right now. Again, as those seasons collide, you can actually see it here on the weather map too. mid 70s in Chicago compared to just 30 degrees in Minneapolis. So you can tell there's clearly a front in here and that is the front that will be moving through our neck of the woods as we head through later tomorrow and Thursday. So increasing clouds tonight. I think areas of uh, low clouds and fog start to develop just like we had in place this morning. So tomorrow morning we'll start off with some low clouds and some fog and we're really going to hang on to those clouds through the day. If you end up seeing a little bonus peak of sunshine in the morning, consider it a bonus because overall I think those clouds will remain fairly stubborn and there's a rising chance for showers as we head through the day too and those showers will continue off and on through your Thursday, although we might be able to dry things out in the afternoon. So here we are at 10 a.m. A lot of clouds and again there is a chance for a spot shower during the day. But watch what happens later in the afternoon into the evening. This is 430 again, maybe a stray shower, but that steadier rainfall is going to come in as we head towards dinner time. Raining pretty good out there for a little while and then off and on showers into your Thursday. Some of our computer guidance has us drying things out in the afternoon. Others say eh, not so much. Those showers are going to stick around off and on. So still uncertain about the exact timing for you there. And there's also a chance for a shower in a few towns on Friday too. We did make that change to the forecast today, but Friday right into the weekend. Highs in the 50s. It is going to feel so cool compared to what we've been dealing with lately. And it looks like some rain will develop late Sunday, Sunday night into Monday morning. And then by this time next week, high temperatures will be in the 40s. Amanda.